Coming up on News In Depth, two remanded for murder of Rose Hall Mann, lawyer moving to file private criminal charges against Canal No. 1 Pool, the resident, and government suspends parking meter project. News In Depth begins now. With tonight's edition of News In Depth, I'm Eva Wharton. Thanks for joining us. We begin this evening by telling you that two men have been remanded to prison for the murder of a Rose Hall resident. Two quarantine men will wake up in the New Amsterdam prison as they were remanded for the murder of Rose Hall resident Katiana Kushindayal. The men, Saif Basord and Daniel McLennan, appeared before Magistrate Marissa Metalhauser at the Reliance Magistrate's Court, where they were not required to plead to the indictable offence. On February 5th, Kushin Dayal was attacked and shot in his home by a lone gunman who later escaped. The young man died at the Georgetown Public Hospital days later, where he was being treated for his injuries. Reports are that police got a break in the case after one of the men arrested for another offence confessed to being at the scene when the young man was shot. The two will make their second court appearance on March 28. More news on the other side of this break. Hey, look at that. Let me go to boots. Boots? No, mama, mama. I ain't gonna get like a lock up teeth in a big stinky 30 second boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And then got my favorite color, pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Come on in. Hi, honey. Your family will love new Abbey butter spread. A heart healthy choice with no cholesterol, Abbe is ready to use right out of the fridge. Smooth, spreadable, rich and creamy, Abbe is a great tasting butter spread. Try it today. Welcome back. Lawyer for two young men beaten in Canal No. 1 Polder said private criminal charges will be filed against those responsible. James Bond, the attorney for the two men beaten by residents of Canal No. 1 Polder, said he plans to take private criminal action against the men who inflicted a beating on his clients, Damien Gordon and Vernon Beckles. I intend to take private criminal action um, against these individuals. Um, we, we've been able to make out three of the main individuals involved in, in this beating of these young men. Um, we have them uh, already, we're getting names and addresses, so we could commence, um, if needs be, a private criminal action or a civil suit against them for the, the, their, their, their re involvement in the, in the beating of the young men. The men were accused of stealing the rearview mirror from a car of a villager. According to the victims, a community police member handcuffed them and allowed the residents to beat them further. The incident occurred in Parkway Day. Damien Gordon and Vernon Beckel said a friend invited them over to see a house in which they planned to keep an event on Friday. The men said they decided to stop at a shop in the village and while they were in the car, a man came to the vehicle accusing them of stealing his rearview mirror. The attorney said the beating of the two men happened at a time when Ghana can ill afford incidents such as these. And uh, I must call on members of the public, do not take the law into your own hands. Do not. And I must advise members of the public also that not all black people are thieves. Um, not, not all Indians are corrupt. I mean, we make these stereotypes um, very, very willy-nilly and um, we need to get away from them. Uh, I've, uh, I've, I also call for the banishment of these words, these phrases, afro guyanese and indo guyanese and all these, other, all these other things. These race prefix, prefixes in front of the, the word Guyanese only sully it. You're either Guyanese, you're not Guyanese. Bond said he wants to commend members of the Guyana Police Force for their proactive investigation of the matter. Morning. Hi, honey. Your family will love new Abbey butter spread. A 
heart healthy choice with no cholesterol, Abbey is ready to use right out of the fridge. Smooth, spreadable, rich and creamy, Abbey is a great tasting butter spread. Try it today. Nothing compares to the class and beauty of Beeson windows and doors. Engineered by professionals and built to last longer than the competition. Buy 10 windows and get one 24 by 16 bathroom window absolutely free. No tricks, no gimmicks, and no hidden fees. Prices starting from 13.5 VAT inclusive. So visit our showroom today at lot 1228 New Eccles Industrial Site or BPAT's building on Regent Street and save big on UPVC or aluminum windows. To order now, call 622 4197 or 226 1292. Government suspends the controversial parking meter project in the city. Government's official position to suspend the controversial parking meter project was today conveyed to the acting city mayor, Sheriff Duncan. Duncan, who was advocating for the project to be suspended all along, said he was very thankful for the timely intervention of the government. Cabinet on Tuesday took a decision to suspend the project for three months for further consultation and for a review of the contract. We're very thankful for the timely intervention of our government on the parking meter issue. Uh, the government through the Ministry of Communities and the Honorable Minister Ronald Balkan communicated to the Council the decision of Cabinet and um, we are going to move ahead in that regard. Um, and I'm certain that when more, more than likely when the substantive mayor comes back, will be dealing with this matter frontally. Um, I think the public knows my position on the issue, and so I won't be taking the leadership on it at, at this point. In Duncan's opinion, he wants what is best for the citizens of Georgetown. Um, because at the end of the day, we want what is best for our citizens. We want what is in the best interest of each and every citizen of Georgetown, and we know the implications as a na national capital city. Um, it has wider implications for persons who live outside Georgetown also. And so we are going to re-engage the public on this issue. The implementation of the parking meter project has drawn widespread protests from citizens calling for the project to be halted. That's a wrap for this edition of News In Depth. Do join us again, same time tomorrow, for another edition.